Oh, hello everybody. Shagged today. Um, but uh, anyway, this is normal stuff. I've just I've got all this lined out. Um, I, I, I just I can't do any more with the space. But this is not what this video should be about. Uh, I'll, I'll get them in tomorrow. Sadly, I've seen I've lost a lot of crowns. The weather's been weird. Um, you know, on the land, minus four, minus five at night. And today was 27 degrees in the shade and 36 degrees in the greenhouse. But still 0 0.4 degrees in the greenhouse last night. So it's plants. Look, I've got... I got these little ones, uh, where did I find a good one? I might have snipped it off. Um, yeah, they're in flower. Not even fucking planted. So pressure's on. Uh, we've got one good day of good weather tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, so I want to get them in. And then the other, another terrace ro lifted, rotivated, and covered, and hopefully planted. But anyway... So this was my old compost pile. I can never make enough of it and I can never make it quick enough. That's why the whole of that quarter up there past all that junk will be for make for, for borage, comfrey, stinging nettles, uh, oxalis and all of that. There's forever all of this fucking plastic everywhere. But that is, once I've got cardboard on top of it and I deal with the exterior with the ranunculus, the buttercup there, and the dock to some extent, uh, which I'll have to do with whatever junk I've got. That is either rhubarb or white asparagus. But the most interesting thing that's happened today, apart from... Uh, <coughs> oh, you don't need to know about that. Um, I've, got, I've got all of that section basically cleared. Those kales are coming into flower now, so I don't touch them. But uh, a lot of these crowns are looking great. Uh, and then you get the odd one, like that, see, he, I've checked, he's alive, but he's just not happy, uh, like I say, freezing cold at night, and then really, really hot, and they go, okay, well, let's have a go, and then, oh, it's freezing, anyway, so I, this is my new asparagus frame, or rhubarb, or whatever, um, whatever comes first, I've banked up the top, uh, this is a really difficult bit of space. Oh, I've also lifted two of those up here, which was not easy. But if you look at the actual land itself, this is just my junk area, which will soon be rabbits. This will all be rabbits across here in, in big cages, not like what they do. Anyway, so, so this area, I just, I've never been able to use. I can't, couldn't really think of anything special to do with it. So I thought, well, let's build a, build a structure. So we've obviously got the bash, the weed suppressant. Then the old, literally the last bit of flat wood and junk that I've got on the land has gone into it. A few pickets, a bit of old string, a load of old junk wood. Um, so on, on the bottom, because I plan to do this all the way along, I can't grow nothing on that. So as you can see, I've got all of the rotten old bits of hazel, the Noir Zetier. Uh, it's... It's not even really good for burning, you know? It makes a lot of flame, very hot, very, very little ash, but it rots very quickly and it absorbs, it's very spongy, so it absorbs a lot of water. So this is a permacultural technique. And I've been able to clean up all of the, most of the junk around uh, my land. So that's all on the bottom and to make it relatively level. That's all the compost that's moved from over the back there. Uh, and then that'll get cardboarded Possibly I'll put the compost on. I don't know. Compost is precious. Uh, I'll be able to make more compost. I need to get some soil from somewhere. I just, you know, this is this is it. I just don't quite know how to do all of this. The crowns are arriving in a couple of days. Rain's coming in a couple of days. The he eight tons of hay is uh, straw is coming in a couple of days. Uh, broads are coming up. Uh, sweet peas are coming up. So that's, that's a sign that I've done something right. Uh, but anyway, if I can get that prepped. I know asparagus, I won't crop the first year, probably won't crop the second year. Uh, but that doesn't mean I can't plant something else there. 
whilst those crowns are taken off. And of course, this isn't the most well-rotted uh, uh, compost I, can, I have, which is, is all I have. Um, I actually cracked an egg. I had an old egg in there that um, y you don't want to smell it. Anyway, so that'll all rot down. I guess by you know by year three, when the asparagus uh, or the uh, cardo the cardoons or the artichokes or the rhubarb that I've got, they'll have eventually put a significant amount of root down. I'll have been able to have mulched that up, and the wood there not only will it absorb the water and provide habitat for fungi, uh, which helps as well, uh, that will have all started to break down as well. And then hopefully I will have some compost to build up those crowns. I know they don't like to be disturbed, but you know, I'm on my own. What can I do? Um, running out of I've been here since eight o'clock this morning, but that was after helping some old boy carrying a shredder down a mountain with two burst tires and two donkeys that just didn't want to do what they're told. Um, so it, it's already been a long day. I haven't eaten, haven't stopped, haven't had a drink. I've had water, but I haven't had a, you know, nothing, nothing to lubricate the day. Um, just bossing it out. That was surprisingly hard work. It's a lot harder to use old shitty bits of wood than it is some fresh new stuff. But I'm out after I've paid for the um, straw, which... As a strawberry farmer, you would imagine it's fairly imperative. And it was a very good price, and it's being delivered to my door. Um, I had to jump on it. Um, so I've still just got whatever they are. I know they're earlies. Whatever they are. Those crowns, some of those crowns are looking pretty good. You know, I want them in. Some of those, these are the last of the Mara de Bois that I arranged to sell. But uh, then I thought twice, well, if people have got their own bloody strawberries, they're not going to want to buy mine. Uh, so uh, just to, just to, yeah, the, all the broads are coming up, so that's nice. Oh, he's becoming a little bit of a dick at the minute. He just wants to dig anywhere and everywhere. And I, and I, know, what you're I know what you're saying. He's saying, Dad, there's something under there, I want to get it. But no. You see the light's failing now, so although it's been super hot now, it's probably, I don't know, seven, eight degrees. I want to lift, hopefully tomorrow, once the Mizuno is in flower, it's absolutely beautiful. But I want to get all of that in, those, those few in there. I want to lift whatever I've got here, these Mara de Bois. I genuinely hope I can rotivate this all the way along. Um, and at least spot out... Uh, where I'm going to put the others. I don't know if I can get four rows in here. I suspect I can get four rows, but I also am realising that, you know, I've got a lot of other stuff that wants going in. I've got to leave a little channel somewhere for for other stuff, because e e even, even downstairs, even downstairs, that's, that's, that's pretty much uh, filled up. Well, it certainly will be in three weeks when I do my, uh, two weeks when I do my next Successional sowing of uh, of the peas and beans, and then we'll be on uh, short peas, uh, you know, haricot, uh, butter, uh, butter beans, and uh, green beans, purple beans, dwarf writers. I, I, I can't be I can't be messing around with these structures anymore. They they fall, they rot, they they're good for the birds, but so are the trees. Uh, so I got to clean through all of this junk. This will probably go uh, go into the compost bin un underneath anyway I'm gonna sign off there and uh, oh yeah I got the uh, euphorbias planted in they're looking a bit sad but uh, I've got them all down there as well anyway uh, and cordoned off so I don't have any dickheads getting the milk on them anyway catch you later